Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we are going to see the title Semantic Web Service Discovery using Natural Language Processing Techniques. With the emergence of web services and the service oriented architecture, business process components are more and more being decoupled. Using web services in SOA creates a wide network of services that collaborate in order to implement complex tasks. Currently, web services are commonly described via narrative web pages containing information about their operations in natural languages. These web pages contain plain text with no machine interval structure and therefore cannot be used by the machines to automatically process the descriptive information. And so, we are creating the new framework. So, in this framework, it allows searching through a set of semantic web services in order to find a match with the user query consisting of keywords. For matching keywords with semantic web service descriptions given in WSMO, techniques like POS tagging, lemmatization and word sense disambiguation are used. After determining the census of relevant words gathered from web service descriptions and the user query, a matching process takes place. Now we are going to see the DFT diagram. As an input, the SWST framework requires a set of web services that are described in semantic languages. The descriptions are subsequently analyzed, resulting in the extraction of words that could represent the context of the web services. Next, the extracted words are disambiguated as the multiple senses can be assigned to the same words. Last, the disambiguated words are matched with the disambiguated words from the search query, resulting in a ranked list of web services. The process is subdivided into three major tasks, service reading, word sense disambiguation and matchmaking. Service reading comprises parsing a semantic web service description, extracting names and non-functional descriptions of user concepts. The Word sense disambiguation task subsequently determines the census of a set of words. At last, the matchmaking step determines the similarity between the different set of senses, which is ultimately used for ranking the analyzed web services. Now we are going to see the project. The front end is NetBeans and the back end is MySQL. In the front end, inside the WSMO package, choose first start Java and click run file. Before that, just check all the libraries present or not. Then click next. Select the data set that is WSML file. Load the file. Click process. Click parse. So if you click parse, the WSML file is parsing and the parsing contents are shown here. Click extract. Click extract. If you click extract means the services present in that WSML files are extracted. The details are shown here. Then click tagging. If you click tagging, the services are tagged here and the tagging sentences are there. Then click extracting words. From that, uh, from the tagging sentence, we are extracting only the nouns. So extract, extracting browser completed. Then click show. If you click means these are all the words which has the tagging as a noun. Then click WSD. Then give input as account balance or bank balance related to the banking environment. Then click get query. So our user input is account balance. Then click POS tagging. We need to tag the our query and extracting the words. We need to extract the only noun words. Then click WSD. In order to eliminate the disambiguity, we need to calculate the census. So the census should be calculated by, uh, by using the WordNet tool. So here, for each word, the census are calculated. Then we need to calculate the similarity for input. So if you click similarity for input, it will calculate the similarities for the word as well as the word census. Query input senses are calculated and similarity for text. Similarly, for the text file, uh, the similarities are calculated. Text senses are calculated. Click view. If you click view means the word as well as the the word as well as the senses and their similarity values are shown here. Then click disambiguity. 
click this ambiguity if you click this ambiguity it will check the major sentence that is it will check the highest similarity values for each word as well as their sentences then it click sense matching if you click sense matching we are uh, in this process we are calculating the sense score for input as well as the text and then the sense sum so click sense for score for input so sense score was calculated for the input words and then sense score for text sentences so the process going on uh, these similarities are calculated based upon the formula given in that then finally the sense score for text are calculated click sense sum the sense sum values are calculated then click word sum now we are calculating the word sense for input as well as the text and then we are calculating the word sum value so while clicking word sense input it will show the values for the word sense input and then by clicking word sense text it will show the value for the word sense for the text values then if you click words and means finally we are getting the value for the words then level matching by clicking level matching the label matching values are finished finally it will get it and our then based upon the based upon our query the file as well as their similarity values are arranged in the ascending order so based upon our query that that query is matched is probably matched in that get bin details web service dot wsml dot text thank you